Hi, my name's Chase with Beverly Wilson Racing. I'm here today to show you guys how to use steel it, uh, stainless steel coatings. It's basically a 316L stainless steel in a polyurethane form. Either aerosol, spray, quartz, gallons, you know, whatever you may need for your application. Uh, we race off-road desert racing in some of the harshest conditions there are. We're running through rocks and sand and trees and cactus and you name it, we run it over with the truck and really put it through its paces and this product is one of the only things that'll hold up and keep our trucks and parts protected. So for us, the savings that we get from this by coating it with steel it, you know, we get home from the races, we're able to use a light degreaser, a pressure washer, really clean it up, uh, save a ton of time there, get right to inspecting the parts. And in the event that we do find a crack, that you're able to weld directly through steel it. So it's a huge time savings for us, not only in the shop, but in the field if we need to make a quick repair. We're able to do so you know, in minutes rather than hours. So applying steel, it's very simple. Um, anybody can do it in their home, shop, wherever. You know, it's a do-it-yourselfer type coating. Basically, we take our parts, we sandblast them, we tape off any area, you know, bearing surfaces, uh, uniball cups, uh, threaded holes prior to sandblasting and to coating. Um, on parts that you can't sandblast, that maybe don't fit in your cabinet or whatever it may be, you can take a DA with a 32 grit paper, uh, DA the parts, get a nice raw, smooth finish just so you have something for the coating to really bite into. Now once they're blasted and clean, we take a, a simple wax and grease remover, wipe down the parts with a, a lint-free towel, and just make sure there's nothing left. You don't want any wax or grease or whatever it may be, finger oils or hand oils. If it's, you want a true clean surface so you don't get any little fish eyes in the paint or any imperfections coming through. So before actually applying the paint, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in a, a well-ventilated area and you know use a respirator, be safe and be smart with it. Prior to coating, just to let you guys know, you want to do three to four thick, wet coats. So you'll do one coat, nice and thick and wet, let it sit five to ten minutes and tack up. And then you're going to go back, repeat that process. You know, another thick, heavy coat, let it tack up another five to ten minutes. Now that we've got our four heavy wet coats applied, uh, you want to allow it to dry for up to four hours until it's dry to the touch and you're ready to assemble. On some of your larger parts, such as a chassis, you're going to want to use maybe four or five, maybe six coats of this to really build that layer of stainless steel to get the full protection of the product. If you're coating the whole chassis, you may not be able to get a full coat on in that five to ten minute window before applying a second coat. So you may have to allow it to completely dry up to about four hours until it's dry to the touch before you add the second coat to allow everything to flatten out and lay down nice and smooth to get a true smooth stainless steel finish. The more of the stainless barrier you create, you know, the more protection you're going to get. Here at Beverly Wilson Racing, we choose Steel It to protect our investment.